hello everyone this is Brooke and I am going to do a get ready with me video today it's my very first one chatty style I have never done one of these where I'm talking through the process and that is a little tricky for me and it's actually kind of scaring me a little bit because I don't know how to talk and put makeup on at the same time so we'll see how I do with that but the whole point of me doing this video is because my friend and I Stephanie who was actually in my color analysis video a few videos ago we have decided to do a girls night out and we said why not film together and do a collaboration where she's putting together her version or her interpretation of a girls night out makeup look and I'm gonna do the same over here so you'll watch me do my interpretation of a girls night out makeup look and then um, I'll link her channel down below so that you can check out Stephanie she's new here on YouTube but she's great she's funny she's really pretty and she's got a lot of good ideas for makeup and she does lifestyle and and all that kind of stuff like that so check out Stephanie's channel and I'll do my makeup we'll kind of chat while I do this it might be a very long video because I don't know how to chat and when to stop and when all that good stuff but anyway it might be a long video and then at the end she and I are gonna meet together and I'll probably vlog a little bit of us getting together tonight I think we're gonna meet for her. she's in the mood for Mexican and I think I'm in the mood for a margarita so that'll work out we'll meet together and um, show you a little bit about our evening but just to get started um, my face is clean and I have a little bit of moisturizer on the next thing I'm gonna do when I have all my stuff laid out in front of me and just kind of like a heap um, normally when I do my makeup I know this is over here that's over there and I just grab as I need it but everything is kind of like piled up in front of me and I'm surrounded by lights I can't move and we'll see how I do so if I don't forget anything the first thing I want to do is my primer no I want to spray I do the Urban Decay um, B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Spray looks like this and I like to give a couple nice a little mist to my face so that it um, helps the I really don't know what it does but it makes my makeup stay a lot longer and feel a lot fresher my skin feels fresher I, even though I have moisturizer on it kind of like activates the moisturizer and gets it ready for the primer so that's why I do that step and this primer I'm going to use is the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer I like this primer because it's good for the camera and it's also um, good for smoothing out the foundation um, the foundation you'll see that I'm going to use sometimes I don't use a primer with it at all and that um, it works okay with that I'll talk a little bit more about the foundation in a minute but for the primer here I like it it's clear it's got the nice silicone feel it makes my skin feel like a like a smooth canvas and I just kind of work that all around my face um, just to be honest with you a lot of times I do forget the primer step and luckily I have great foundations where that doesn't matter too much because they're really good and long-lasting um, so I have my primer on and the next thing I'm going to do is put on my foundation and the foundation I'm going to use is this NARS all day luminous weightless foundation I'm in the color Cadiz and I like it I've been using it um, I got it about two weeks ago and I've been using it constantly if I'm moving a little bit that's because I'm shaking it like crazy uh, it's very liquid foundation and you do need to shake it a lot um, but a little bit of this goes a long way and I'm very interested in evening out my skin tone you see I have a little bit of discoloration right here from some very old acne star scars that won't go away and um, not so much on this side but it's good for evening out my skin tone and I really I really like this foundation it's a different it's got like a you know even though it's a liquid foundation and I I use one pump even though it's a liquid foundation it's got kind of a dry feel when it goes on it dries very fast and I'm gonna use my Urban Decay optical blurring brush to kind of place this on um, I would normally use my Sigma round kabuki brush or the F82 but it is wet right now I did a ton of brush washing this morning I um, I would say there's at least 60 brushes that I had to wash this morning because I 
let them pile up and I don't um, wash them as fast as I should and then I have to go back in and wash a ton of them at one time so I've got a lot of my favorite brushes are wet right now so I couldn't use them so I'm making do with some other ones but I'll let you know um, everything that I'm using and if I'm looking off to the side it's in the viewfinder because my camera is in front of my mirror and I can't really see what I'm doing um, so let me did you but did you see how this blended in so well and it's covering up those spots I'm gonna put another half a pump on my hand just to kind of stipple into some of these areas right there because I can still see them and um, and then I'm gonna give my face another quick blending but this foundation dries very fast it feels like you have a powder on your face when you don't and one of the things I realized that I forgot to set out in front of me is my setting powder um, so let me see if I'm actually gonna use it because a lot of times when I use this foundation I don't set it with a powder because it is so so um, so set by itself let me just make sure I could do this okay yep everything looks good there so that's my foundation and then the next thing I'm gonna do is concealer and I'm gonna start with this uh, use this LA girl pro conceal in the color warm honey it's my very first time using these I have two of them and I got them months ago and I haven't used them yet but everybody talks about those and I figured it would be a nice time to get it a, give it a try and I'm just trying to make sure it's coming out okay I just don't wanna because you have to squirt it through the little tube and it's got a brush attached I just don't want concealer to go everywhere okay I think I've got it so I'm gonna just do under here because I can see some puffiness under my eyes already and I'm gonna kind of bring that down I think this is a pretty good color for me I'm not sure but I'm gonna kind of use it as my concealer and my highlighter and most days like on work days I do not do this step if I'm looking really puffy under my eyes or something's really going on, I might just use a touch of concealer or my highlighter pen from MAC. But normally, I don't really do this. I think this is more of a, a YouTube thing. But since I'm going out and I've got extra time this morning to get dolled up, I am going to take this extra step. And oh my goodness, I just put on so, because it was coming out of the tube so slowly that I really pushed it up and pushed it on my skin and now I've got it everywhere. Oh, so well. That's the beauty of makeup. You can tone it down a little bit. What I'm going to do is, um, also, I don't know if you can see, but I got just a glob right there. But I'm going to put some down my nose, bottom of my forehead, Cupid's bow, and chin and this is also going to serve as my um, cream highlight so I've got my beauty blender here I'm going to give it a look it's already kind of damp because I washed it this morning and I'm going to give it a couple sprays with fix plus to dampen it up and let's go in and kind of clear this stuff up here oh so now that's really damp and it's washing everything away darn just messing up here So don't make your beauty blender too damp, or it won't do any good. This is really hard, putting your makeup on while talking and being on camera. I'm going to put a little bit more concealer on this side because I had so much on the other side and washed it all the way with my super wet beauty blender and then I'm just going to blend in where I put it down here and a little bit I put there and then on my nose so 
brightened up my under, under eye, which is really good because I needed that. Late, late night for me last night because we had um, my 11-year-old son who turned, well, he turned 11 a few weeks ago. He had a sleepover last night, and there were four boys over here, and they stayed up till at least 12.30 and got up by, they were up by 6 this morning. So, um... I was tired. I think I got a nap in this afternoon, but might need another one. And I'm going to set my powder and my foundation and my concealer with the Naked Skin foundation, um, Naked Skin uh, Loose Setting Powder by Urban Decay. And I'm in the color, I think I'm just in the color dark. Yeah, dark. So I don't need a lot to set with because the foundation is pretty dry as it is already. But I'm going to use my e.l.f. complexion brush um, and just kind of powder my face. Okay. I look human still. Okay. Um, yeah, and like I said, this is really tricky because there's a camera in my mirror space where I normally would look at myself. So I'm using this little bitty thing right here. And then I've got my computer on the side. If I look over to the side, that's why. Because I'm looking at making sure everything is in focus. And I'm looking in the viewfinder here to do this. And I'm also talking and trying to make sure that I don't forget anything a step because that would be, I don't know, embarrassing, I guess. But we all would do it if we're trying to do multitasking with makeup. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is use my NYX Contour Palette and I am going to use my NARS Eda brush. Love this brush and I love this palette. I think I'm going to do a full review on the palette or compare it to other contour palettes I have and I also want to talk a little bit more about the brush but I think the brush is going to end up in my favorites for March because I do love it so much. So I'm going to contour a little bit with this darkest shade right here. I just put a little on my brush, tap it off, and then I'm looking in the viewfinder to make sure I don't mess up. But I'm just going to contour, give myself a little bit of a shadow right back here. And then I'm going to blend that up a little bit so it's not a really harsh line. And just the softest little thing. I like to contour every day, but I do do it a little bit heavier when I'm going out for a night look. Just to make those cheekbones look a little more uh, chiseled, I guess. I don't know. But I love this palette because it's got a nice color range. And it has colors that really suit my skin. I, of course, like this darkest color down here because that's my contour color. And I like these highlight shades up here, too. Um, and this is a good bronzer for me back here. So unlike, unlike other palettes where they were either too light for me, well, actually, they are mostly too light, or they had highlighters that I didn't like, or they were too matte, or whatever, um, I really do like this palette. And I would like to speak about it more in the future. So if that's something that you would like to see, let me know. Um, I also take my Eda brush and that darker color and brush off, not as much as before, but I go onto the sides of my nose. To give a little more definition. And then up by my forehead. Now, with contouring, what you are trying to do, or what I've always been taught to do, is that you're trying to create an ovalness to the face. Because the oval face shape is kind of the universal face shape that's, uh, I guess they say, more pleasing to the eye. Um, whatever that means, you are trying to create, like if you had a really wide forehead, you would contour more around here to kind of make your forehead look smaller. If you had a really large jaw, you would kind of contour. Contouring creates an illusion of a smaller space or something that's coming in or, you know, sinking, sinking in a little bit more. And you try to do that with contouring. Um, so that's what I've always been told. Then I'm going to go with my blush, and I've already realized that I wanted to do my eyes first, and I forgot, but I'm 
habits doing my blush first and for that I'm going to use this brush right here it's the MAC 168 it's an angled gold haired brush and I'm going to use this brand new I just got this L'Oreal True Match super blendable brush in the color spiced plum looks like this so I'm going for a neutral leaf face and you'll see that I'm going to really try to pop my eyes. So let's see if I'm successful here. But giving a little bit of a color to the apples of my cheek and then blending it back. Oh, I really like this color. It is super blendable and it's very, very neutral. It's just a very healthy glow to the look. And it, I think it would be really hard to do too much with this color. So I, I bought this because I didn't need any more blushes, but I was in the drugstore. I had a coupon for L'Oreal, but it turns out I didn't um, look at the coupon right, so I couldn't use it on this. That was I thought I was going to get $5 off, but didn't get anything off. So anyway, I'm just chit-chatting. I feel like, I don't know, it's like, like you're here with me listening, and I wish I could uh, hear you say something back, but in the meantime, I'm just going to keep talking. So I've got my blush on, and the next thing I do is my highlighter, and I'm going to use my MAC uh, uh, Mineralized Skin Finished in the Soft and gen Gentle. It looks like this. Very, very pretty highlighter. And I'm going to use an e.l.f. fan brush. I would normally use my tapered highlighter by Sigma because that's like my favorite highlighter brush. But it's wet because I washed it this morning. But this is just as good and I'm going to go in over my cheekbones, over the blush, and just kind of add this for a little glow to my skin. It'll look really nice when we go out tonight to have, um, you know, dim light and then, um, you know, just whatever kind of light is out there will glow on my skin. And a little bit um, down the bridge of my nose and up in the bottom of my forehead. And, ooh, that's a lot right there. Let me blend that out and a lot right there. This brush picks up a lot and it doesn't, you don't need a lot of this soft and gentle. It goes a very long way. So I'm just going to make sure. I always love to have a ton of highlighter right there. I love to glow. So good. I got that. Hopefully I'm not glowing too much. And um, so pretty much done with the face. And now I'm going to move on to my eyes. And for my eyes, I'm going to start off with, let's get a primer out. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. And this is the primer potion. I love this stuff. Um, I don't really, I, well, I don't have oily skin. I have normal skin, and I don't ever have oils breaking through. Um, like, I never notice... Um, oily, an oiliness to my skin. Um, so I don't know if I really need a primer for my lids, but I just like to do it anyway because it makes me feel, I, I love, I love product. I love to use product. If I could use 50 things on my face, I would be happy. Um, I wouldn't necessarily get out of the house on time ever, but I would love, I would love it. And when I do tutorials, I love to do extra amounts of product. I'm just adding a little bit more po primer because I didn't have enough on the first time. So blending that in my eyelids. And um, I, I love, I just love using makeup and products. Now for a normal day for work, I might, I could get out of the door using like five things or less because, you know, just a little powder on my face, some eyeliner, mascara, and something on my lips and I'm done. But when I get time, I like to really jazz it up. So, got that on, and then let's put on a base, too. Um, a MAC Painterly, no, not Painterly, I like groundwork. No, I'm sorry, I have Quite Natural. MAC Quite Natural Paint Pot. I like to put that on my lids to get a little bit of stickiness so that my eyeshadow sticks to it a lot better than just um, on the bare lids or the primer by itself so this gives something to my for my eyes to adhere to and I'm basically doing this blind I can't really see the viewfinder anymore so I'm just doing this 
um, from Feel. So how do you like that? But anyway, <laughs> the color palette I'm going to use today is the Lorac Pro palette. Love this palette. It's, it's great. It's got all these beautiful colors in there. And the, what I really love about it is that it's got my um, matte browns for transition colors. And then it's got some other deeper colors in there too. I use this a lot for night looks. And... Um, I like to use like the deep purple because it's using color. I don't use color enough, but I, I like to use that and get color in without being too bright and over the top. So let me get out my little pink mirror here again so I can see what I'm doing. But I'm picking up the color Sable on my um, Coastal Scents brush. It's the fluffy brush for blending. And I'm just going to put that into my transition or my um, crease here and just above the crease. And this is my transition color. So sable on the blending brush right above here for transition. And I'm packing the color into the crease and making that as dark as I can. And then I'm moving and blending up so that the color is gradually getting lighter as it goes towards my brow. See that? It gives me definition in the crease, but then also it's it's transitioning up. I am going to go for a little bit more of a dramatic look, so I am making sure my transition is a little heavier so that it can support the, the lid color. Okay, now for the lid color, I'm going to use this color. It's Bay by ColourPop. Really pretty color and it looks like this. Isn't that gorgeous? It's kind of like a dark peacock. It's got the blues and the purples and the turquoise. All that color and it. it's really way out of my, my color comfort zone but I tried it once. I wore it in a video. If you've seen that video where I did the color analysis, um, I was wearing Bay by ColourPop and it is kind of like a cream shadow. It's it's like a thick, moussey, creamy, very, very um, unique consistency. And I'm using my e.l.f. concealer brush because it's a stiff brush and it's got very synthetic bristles, which is good for picking up this cream product. And I'm just picking up as as much as I can on the brush and then I'm going to go and put it all over my lid. Now this is one of their Super Shock eyeshadows and it's got a ton of glitter in it. But it's not overly glitterized, if that makes if that makes sense or if it's a word. But it's super pretty and I'm putting it all over the movable parts of my lid and I'm also trying to get it um, touching that transition color. And what I'm going to end up with is kind of like a peacocky blue smoky eye here. But even right there, that's that's pretty just like that. So, but we got more steps. So this side. So I've got the the bay all over my lid. I don't know if you can see it. I'll, I'll zoom in when I'm done so that you can see the final look, but just going to set that all aside and then I'm going to um, kind of smoke out the rest of or my eye by going into the crease and the outer V. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this dark purple. It's deep purple in the palette and I'm going to use my e.l.f. contour brush it's um, not my first choice because it, well, I wonder, should I use, I'm going to use, actually, I'm going to use my Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush because it's got a mo more of a point there and I want to get into my crease and my outer V. So I'm going to use this actually for the first time and I'm using that deep purple color. And my little handy mirror here. I 
and I'm doing a wide outer V with the deep purple right over that bay. So the other side, tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to take the brush I used for my transition that still got some product on there and I'm going to blend up between the crease color and the transition color to make a nice soft line in between there that's all blended together. For my brow bone highlight I'm going to use the color champagne in the palette and I'm going to use, let's use this one. It is the MAC 228. It's a small shader brush and I'm going to go into the champagne color here, tap it off, and then do my brow bone highlight. I personally love a shimmery highlight. I know some people prefer matte but I like it to be kind of like skin tone but shimmery so that when you turn on different angles you can really see it if that makes sense and then I'm going to take my transition brush again and blend that blend the transition into the brow bone highlight so that there's no harsh lines Okay, so the top, my eyes look very top heavy right now, and that's because I need to go in and do the bottom lash line. And for that, I'm using my e.l.f. Small Precision Brush, and I'm going to go into the deep, no, I'm going to go, f actually, let's kind of do this differently. I'm going to clean off this, um... MAC 228 brush. I don't know why I cleaned it because I'm just going to go into the champagne color again and I'm going to do my inner corner with it and my inner bottom lash line. Just the inner part with the champagne and the small brush. So the tear duct And the inner lash line. And that's going to help to open up the eye and make it look brighter. But right now it just looks silly. So now I'm going to clean off that small brush and I'm going to go into Espresso in the palette. I'll show you what that looks like. It's next to the transition color that I use. It's just a touch deeper and it's a deeper brown. And I'm going to get a little bit of that on the, on the brush, tap it off, because that's a lot of dark color down there. And I'm going to go underneath my lash line. Bring it down kind of low, but not too low. And then just kind of soften it up down there. And do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm kind of giving a little balance to my eyes and it's not so, so heavy. And then I'm going to take a precision brush, the Elf's or the Elf's small smudge brush, and I'm going in with that deep purple again, tapping off the excess, and then I'm going to get my lash line darker. I'm doing this right tight against my lash line in the outer corner of my lower lash line. I don't like to go all the way across underneath my eyes with a dark color because I feel like that makes my eyes look too heavy. But if I ever wanted to do a really heavy look, that's what I would do. But for right now, I'm just taking the deep purple tightly underneath my lash line and kind of 
smoking out my, la my bottom lashes. And let me see what it looks like in the, me in the computer. Not so bad, not so bad. Um, for a liner, I'm going to use my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. And I'm going to go all the way across my upper lash line with this. And I'm going to wing it out just a little bit. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm going up, down to the lash line, and I'm going to connect them. And since I kind of have a large lid space, I like to do a thicker line, especially when I'm using heavy eyeshadow. So there, going from inner to outer corner on my upper lash line with this, this e.l.f. Li liquid eyeliner, eyeliner is pretty good. So and then I'm going to wing out this side and hopefully my wings will be even. But I'm going to come down, down, and across. Pretty good. So there's my eyeliner. Let me just double check everything. Okay. Um, for the outer part of my brows, I like to use a pencil for the outer end of my brows and just kind of make a really sharp line. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Ebony. And I just like to go out here and make sure that I've got a nice tail or end to my brow because when I use the powder and the brush, the brush isn't fine enough to make sure that this is coming to a point like I like. So I'm going to do it over here too. And for some reason this brow has a lot more hair or comes to a longer end than this one. So I always have to make sure that they end at the same place. And so, and that's what I do with this one. And then I'm going to go in with my, um, my beloved NYX eyebrow cake powder. Looks like this or this. And I use the color dark brown. I just use this darkest color on there. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. small angled brush. Sorry that it seems like I'm using all, well, I am using a lot of e.l.f. brushes, but that's all that's uh, clean and dry right now. But I do have other brushes. For this, I actually do use the e.l.f. brush all the time, but for my face, I use a lot of different brands. Um, you can see that in some of my other tutorials. But with I've got the dark brown powder on there. Let me tap it. And then I just kind of outline my brow a little bit. I've got a lot of brow. I've got my brows are still pretty, pretty thick, but I like to darken them up a little bit, especially when I'm wearing dark eyeshadow. And I just kind of fill them in. So that I have something that's nicely framing my face. And I don't spend a ton of time on them or do a ton with them. My biggest fear is that I make them too thick, but thicker brows make you actually look younger. So if you're going to err on thinner or thicker, err on the thicker side. And I'm just going to do the same thing over here. But if you're going to make one thick, you got to do it this to the other one too. So do both sides equally as much as possible because they're supposed to be sisters, not twins. And, well, at least I try to make them twins, but they always end up as sisters. I just don't want them to be cousins or second cousins or something like that. 
and I just fill it in with a little powder. I find it so easy and quick to do it that way. Um, I don't have to be extremely precise because I'm just filling in and making it, making what I have already just a little bit darker. And so let me double double check. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. And then I'm going to kind of set them with this Great Lash um, Clear Mascara by Maybelline. And this way they won't move around. My brows don't move around a lot, but I like to make sure that they stay in place and that the color I put in kind of really gets blended. So it's just an extra step. It's not necessary by, by all means. It's not necessary, but I just love products. I love to use as many as I can. So here we go. So that's all nice and set and pretty. And my eye liner is most likely dry by now. So what I'm going to do is put on my eyelashes and put the lash in the middle on my tweezer. Take my glue, brush it on to the band. Yeah, this brush on glue is so good. Duo brush on. I wish they had it in black. That would be really, really nice, but it does dry really clear and matte. You won't notice you have glue on at all once this dries, and I love that. Just waving it, waving it, waving it. Um, be sure to tell me in the comments down below, and don't be too harsh, if you like this kind of video. Um, it's, it's a lot easier for me to make rather than doing voiceovers and, and titles and all that stuff. It's a lot easier to make, but I'm assuming as I do more of them, if you want to see more of them, it'll be easier for me to do it. And... Sorry, concentrating here. Oh, it'll be easier for me to do and I'll be more polished when I do this, more um, practiced. So if you don't mind, I'll just keep doing these every now and then because it feels like I'm chit-chatting with you. I, I need somebody to talk to sometimes and this is a great outlet. So my lashes are on, my eyes are done, my cheeks are done. What's left? The lips. And I'm going to go with a neutral lip because I have a you know, really bright or bold smoky eye. And I'm going to go all NYX, I believe, on my lip. So I am going to use, um, well first I'm going to use actually my Too Faced Lip Insurance. Get that all on my lips so that my sh lipstick lasts better. I little should have put on a little bit of chapstick while I was doing my face and I can feel a little dry spots right there but oh well oh well um, so I got my lip insurance on my lips and now I'm gonna take my NYX lip liner in the color earth tone and I'm going to line my lips and fill them in so here we go love this color it's a really nice nudie brown on me Okay, so I've got the lip liner on. I really do like these NYX lip liners. This is my first one. Otherwise, I use a ton of MAC lip liners. And this feels comparable. So it's on my whole lip. I filled it in, gave me a nice line. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Abu Dhabi. And I'm going to fill in my lips with this. I once wore this lip color in a video. I can't remember which one, but I got a lot of comments on it that it, that people liked it. And it is just this perfect neutral nude color. It's 
it's not pink, it's not peach. It's just perfect nude. That. And then as far as uh, gloss goes, I'm going to use a thin layer of this NYX Butter Gloss in the color Ginger Snap. It is actually a brown. I probably could have gone with a lighter color, but it gives great gloss. Just a little bit of shine, not a whole lot of color that I wanted there. I love these glosses. They're really, really good. And that's what I'm going to do with my lips. And this is the finest, final look for my face. I'm going to spray on some all-nighter setting spray because you never know how late we're going to stay out. And I'm going to set it all into place with that. And make sure everything is still together. Do this. I feel like an eyelash is falling off. Nope, still there. Yep, still there. Yeah, I'm becoming a pro at that. I really, really am loving eyelashes. But anyway, this is the finished look. And what I'm going to do now is throw some clothes on, maybe show you what I'm wearing. And then um, my, I'm going to run a flat iron through my hair, kind of bump up a few curls in there. And... Um, get going and head out for the evening but I hope you enjoyed this portion of the video and that, like I said sh tell me down below if it's something that you are interested in more of I know these videos are quite long I'll edit it as down as much as I can but in the event that you prefer the other kind just let me know I'll I'll do variety actually on my channel I I, I, I kind of like this now that I got through it. I was really nervous to start. And now I'm just rambling, so I'm going to end here and then go finish getting ready and kind of keep you up to date with what's going on. And I'll see you in a little while. Okay. Hey everyone, it's me. I'm outside now. It's freezing, but this is what I'm going to wear to go out. Um, you saw what I'm wearing for makeup, and I just kind of did my hair, fluffed it up a little bit. And I'm wearing this suede hot pink blazer and a white t-shirt, v-neck. And then to kind of give it a little more interest, I'm wearing this very bright hot pink statement necklace. I'm wearing some skinny jeans that are Miss Me brand. And on the bottom, I'm wearing a pair of hot pink pumps that I got from Old Navy. They're pointed toe, they look great with the jacket, and they're going to look great with this outfit. So this is what I'm wearing to go out tonight for girls night out. <laughs> That's so funny.